Hello again, Safarians, and welcome back to my studio. Today, I'm going to show you guys my collection of reptiles. Okay, check them out right over here. They are looking great. So, let's get started, guys. All right, then, Safarians, let's begin. My first figure right here is actually a really beautiful Komodo dragon. This figure looks really realistic. If you take a look closely, the detailing on this figure and the paint work, it's just absolutely amazing. It looks like an actual Komodo dragon, okay? So uh, you can actually play a prank on a friend by just putting this on the floor and they will be super terrified, I must say, because it looks like an actual real Komodo dragon, like a mini one, okay? Next up, let's take a look at this. What do we have right here? I think we have a Galapagos adopt tortoise. I think this is a land animal, it cannot live in the sea for sure, alright? So this is a beautiful um, tortoise figure, alright? One of our biggest, if not the biggest. Okay, next up, what is this? This is a beautiful snake that we have just added to our collection not too long ago. It's actually a corn snake. I really love the colors of this snake. It looks so beautiful, but I'm, I'm not too sure whether this is actually poisonous or not. Alright, let's move on. Next, um, let's take let's take a look at this. This is a red ear slider. Yes, have you guys seen my video of my previous video? I've actually fed two of my red ear sliders. I've put like turtle pellets into my tank. So check it check it out, guys. If you guys have not seen my previous video, okay. So red ear sliders. My red ear sliders are about the size of this one right now. Okay. Yeah, they can actually live in the water. They can also live on land as well. Next, we have an iguana right here. I've, and I think this figure looks really realistic as well. And um, to be really honest with you, um, I live in Singapore and I've seen plenty of iguanas. And I think they are really beautiful animals. All right, next up, let's take a look at this. We have a fruit lizard. This is actually a lizard from Australia. I have never seen a lizard with such a beautiful um, frill right over here so they can actually expand this frill to frighten away their predators or probably like humans as well okay next up we have a crocodile right over here and this is a Nile crocodile nice one right here let's move on and not a turtle so what is this this is actually a giant tortoise Yes, they are actually land animals. Next up, what else do we have inside the box? Another snake. Alright, what kind of snake is this? I have no idea. Let's take a look at the name. I think it is written right below. It is actually a coiled snake. Alright. Yes, this, this snake looks pretty terrifying to me. Next another turtle and what is this turtle this is actually a desert tortoise all right let's read some facts about this wonderful animal wonderful reptile the desert tortoise can live up to 100 years and weigh up to 15 pounds okay that's not too heavy what do we have right here let's take a look we have a horned lizard I've never seen one in real life before. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Next up, this is a Camps Ridley Sea Turtle Baby. I've never seen one of this before as well, but they look super adorable. Another snake. I'm not too sure what is the name of this um, snake. It looks like a black-headed, um, I don't know, probably like a viper. I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, what is the exact species of this snake? Let me know down below. This one right here is a king cobra. You can actually bend uh, the neck upwards. So let's read some facts about a cobra. One species can spray the venom up to eight feet away. So you can actually spray venom from the mouth. And yes, I think they look kind of scary, especially with this frill right here. They look kind of scary to me. Next. Another snake. What is this snake? This is actually an Australian snake and is known as a brown snake. Just known as a brown snake. And I think the body texture looks really nice. 
it kind of looks looks very really shiny so i'm not too sure whether this is the same in um real life next up another komodo dragon but this one is definitely much smaller than the one that we have seen just now okay i'm not too sure where this was from oh all right from safari ltd as well what is this this is a salt water crocodile i think it is one of the reptiles with if not, I mean, one of the reptiles with the biggest white frogs, if not the biggest. And yeah, probably, you know, in the entire animal kingdom as well. This is a, um... Albino. What is this again? Let's see. An albino Burmese python. Let's read some facts. Alright, let's see what is written right here. Albinism occurs when an animal cannot produce melanin, the pigment responsible for skin coloration. So there are actually plenty of um, different albino animals such as lions, okay? I'm not too sure why this is doing here. This is not supposed to be in this video because this is not a reptile. What is this? This is a leather back sea turtle. Alright, another beautiful turtle. And this is basically just a sea turtle baby, a very generic sea turtle baby. And this is known as the um, thorny devil, if I'm not wrong, right? And what do you guys think? Is this like a um, crocodile or is this like a prehistoric crocodile, like a sakusukus? I'm just going to lean with um, lean towards a crocodile. Another turtle right here is this is basically like a tortoise. We have a small little crocodile, and this is actually known as a caiman. And they are actually pretty small as compared to saltwater cro crocodiles or alligators. They're really small. They can be found like you know this size. Alright, what do we have right here? We have a collared lizard. Looks really beautiful, I must say. Plenty of different colors. This it's what is this? A white alligator. Looks really nice. And what about this one right here? Let's see, what is this? This should be a saltwater crocodile. The crocodile is the biggest bite frost. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest reptilian species. Wow. I'm not too sure. You know, it's probably bigger than a um an alligator. Another sea turtle. This is actually a logger head turtle. What is this? A rattlesnake, a sidewinder rattlesnake. So they basically, you know, move in side sideways. I don't think there's any facts on, you know, in the sheet. So let's just remove this. All right, a beautiful sidewinder rattlesnake. Wow, what do we have right here? Another red snake. So let's see, what is this? This is actually a coral snake baby. It has beautiful colors on its body. Next up, another sea turtle. This is an adult sea turtle. This is a bearded dragon. Okay. Um, let's see, what else we have? I think this should be an alligator. Another sea turtle. I don't think this is fully grown. Oh, it is fully grown. An adult sea turtle is written right below. A crocodile. I think this figure is from PNSO. Looks really nice. A snake, but I've no idea what is the species of this snake. We have some insects, so these are definitely not part of the um, reptiles collection. So this is basically the reptiles that we have. But just to let you guys know, we also have some prehistoric reptiles in, um, in our shelf. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably make another video on our prehistoric marine reptiles for you guys to watch, okay? Thanks for watching this, okay? Okay guys, so thanks for watching our reptiles collection. In our next video, we can probably, you know, um, come out with a collection video on whales, maybe on sharks as well. Let me know down below what other collection videos you guys want me to make and I'll be happy to do that, okay? You know, check this out. This is a mess that we have to clean up right after this video, okay? So stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you're not yet a Dan Safarian and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Thanks and goodbye.